Marrying for love is not as simple as it sounds. Laws against interracial marriages, for example, were on the books in the U.S. for around 300 years until a Supreme Court ruling in June of 1967. That ruling eliminated all statewide bans on interracial marriage. The couple that brought the suit was named Loving. In honor of that ruling, interracial couples are invited to renew their vows and celebrate Loving Day on Saturday, June 8th, at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. And joining us to tell us more about it is a very familiar face here in central Indiana, former Indianapolis Mayor Greg Ballard and Esther Sandlin with the International Center. Good to have you both with us today. Thank, Thank you. you. Mayor Ballard, I'm going to start with you to, uh, this, this, today. You are in an interracial marriage right now, um, have been so for a while. So tell us a little bit about what this day means to you, Loving Day, and what the sacrifices and struggles of Mildred and Richard Loving, what they went through, what that means to you now. Yeah, it's, a, it's amazing that they were thrown in jail for being married. I mean, that is hard to comprehend. And, and sometimes people uh, a little bit younger than I just can't believe that that actually happened in America, but it did. And my marriage would have been illegal in many states just a few years before this ruling. So it, it, means, a, it means a lot to me. Uh, I'm, I'm a melting pot kind of person anyway, and I think we all should get along and, and uh, love who we want. Uh, all, that, all of that makes a lot of sense to me in the context of, of America. And I think it's important, uh, it's important for me to celebrate this. I wanted to do this for years, and I finally found great partners in the International Center and the, the Pacers, and of course the Colts are there with us, uh, along with a couple of sponsors, Lumina and United Negro College Fund, helping us out and doing all of these things. So it's very important to me personally, and I wanted to tell people the message uh, of how important this day was. And it helps people learn the history as well and how right. recent it was. Esther, tell us a little bit about this event at Gamebridge Fieldhouse, what it will entail, and what is the message that you hope for people who are, one, taking part in it, but also those who will be watching it? Well, this is a celebration of love. So we'll have uh, an opportunity for couples to come and participate in activities. There will be a mixed media artist there. There will be delicious food. And then um, uh, Mr. Ballard will uh, <laughs> give the couples a chance to renew their vows and continue the celebration of love. Are you looking for people to still uh, uh, be part of this, to sign up to? Yes, of course. So for couples, uh, the cost is $20, and you're also allowed to bring your children for free, but they have to register. Okay. You know, in this political climate where there seems to be a looming threat of rolling back Supreme Court decisions, Roe v. Wade, gay marriage, do you feel concerned about the laws uh, that are in place to protect interracial marriage now, that those could be threatened? I don't right now. It kind of got brought up in a, in a different context just a few months ago, but I, I don't. I don't foresee this happening because it's very common these days, and it's just difficult for anybody. It's difficult for me to imagine that anybody could possibly roll this back because interracial marriages are are, are everywhere and they're, they're very very common. So, I uh, occasionally you'll hear somebody say something and like, hey, maybe maybe this is a state's rights issues and things like that. But I kind of dismiss this because I think this is overwhelming right now. Mm. At the event, okay. Are we expecting tuxes and gowns then? Smart casual. <laughs> <laughs> Smart casual. We want people to have fun with yes. it. Yes. Right. Yes. You, if you, you have fun in the tux. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we want people to enjoy the day. It, it, the whole thing will be upbeat. It'll be uplifting. We're not going to be bashing anybody or anything like that. It's, it's all, all uplifting. Uh, there'll be a little bit about the history of it and uh, like I said, Rally Renewal and at the end of it is Motown. Everybody yeah, loves Motown. Lots of good all right. music. Sounds great. All lots that. Of good so music. it's going to be music. great. Register on the International Center website. Yes, you all can right. register on the International Center website. And we'll be sure to put that on our website, WRTV.com for you. We appreciate you. Loving day coming up at Gainbridge Fieldhouse on June 8th. Great to see you, Esther and Mayor Ballard. Thanks, Thank Mark. you.